All right, this is New Perspectives Excel 2019, Module 4, SAM Project 1A. For some colleges, this might be the third SAM project. The title should be Alanis Parks Department. And make sure that before you begin, um, cell B6 has your name on it. So next to author, it says your name. And also don't forget to complete these instructions here. So make sure you change the file name so that it ends in a 2 instead of a 1. And then afterwards, you can get started. And this will be a speed run of the project. So I won't be reading much of the context behind each step. But I will leave timestamps for each step throughout the video in case you want to skip around. So let's start with step 1. So for step 1, we have to go to Spending Worksheet down here. So click on Spending Worksheet down here. Then you want to select the range E5 to E10. So select E5 to E10 and go to Home up here, the Home tab, and then click on Conditional Formatting. Click on Data Bars. And then under Solid Fill, you want to select Blue Data Bar, the first one. And that is step one. For step two, in the range F5 to F10, so select F5 to F10. You want to head up to insert up here and you want to click on line here for the data range you want to use b5 to e10 so b5 to e10 is here so select b5 to e10 and then click ok and that is step two for step three you have to change the sparkline color so go over to here sparkline color click on that and then you want to choose the, the fifth color. So one, two, three, four, five, and then go all the way down to the second to last one. So blue accent, one darker, 25%. Click on that. And that is step three. So for step four, go over to this chart over here, change the chart title name. So just copy and paste the chart title name that they want. Uh, so copy that and then paste it into chart title and you need to add data labels for for b so click on this chart click on the plus sign here and then over data labels click the arrow click on more options and select category name and make sure percentage is also selected and then under here label position click on outside end then you can x this out and then for 4c step 4c click on this plus sign again and then unselect legend and that is step 4c for step 5 you want to create a 2d pie chart using the range e5 to e9 and a5 to a9 so select e5 to e9 and once you selected that hold control or command if you're on mac so hold control or command and select a5 to a9 and then after you've selected these uh, click insert up here click on the pie looking chart thing symbol up here and then it should be the first 2d pie chart so this one click on that and you want to resize it so that it's located within cell G21. So make sure it's within cell G21. It doesn't have to be perfect. And make sure that the bottom right is within 039. So 039 is approximately here. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can check it by just selecting row 39 and seeing if it's within uh, and the column if you'd like but yeah that is step five or step six copy and paste the title, chart title name again and then change this chart title to that by pasting the name that they want and for step 6b apply style 3 to the chart so click on this chart and over in chart design click on that and here you want to select this option style three the third one so click it and that is step six for step seven 
we want to create a stack bar chart based on the range A4 to E9. So select A4 to E9 and go to insert up here. Click on recommended charts. Click on all charts here and find bar or bar charts. And over here, you want to click the second chart. So stack bar and then the first option and you want to click OK. Oops, sorry. And then that is step 7A for step 7B. You want to move, move this to be within A11, cell A11. So move it approximately within cell A11 and within F39 for the bottom right. So this should be good here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that is step seven. So for step eight, copy and paste this chart title name and just change the chart title here to what AA has. So yeah, step AA says spending per park 2018 and 2021. So that's good. Then for step 8b, change the maximum value to 2.3 million. So in order to do that, select this horizontal axis, click on it, and then right click, format axis, click on format axis, and then for maximum, you want to change 2.5 to 2.3, hit enter, and then for the minimum value, change this to zero and then hit enter and then you can access out so that is step 8b for step 8c you want to select this chart again and then right click the chart yeah, make sure you're right clicking the entire chart and then click on format chart area so under chart options there is uh, this option called fill so click on that and for the color you want to click on the drop down and click on white background one darker five percent so the one right below uh the white uh, color so select that and then access out and that is step eight c for step nine you want to move um this park spending you want to move this park spending 2018 or 2121 chart to the projection worksheet so just select this chart up here go to chart design and click on move chart object in you want to choose so select the arrow and then choose projection and then click OK and it should give you the chart on projection and you want to resize this so that it's located within cell a4 so once again it doesn't have to be perfect uh, and make sure that the bottom right is within cell k22 so K22 is about here. So that looks about right. And then moving on to step 10, we have to change the color scheme of the chart. So click on the chart and then go over to chart design. And over here, it says change colors. Click on that. And you want to change it to this one, the fourth one, the fourth palette under monochromatic. So click on that, and that is step 10A. For step 10B, we want to select this line right here. So click on the line, and then you want to right-click it, and you want to click on Format Data Series. Select Secondary Axis, and then you can access out. And you want to click this plus sign as well, click this plus sign. And where it says axis titles, click the arrow, select primary vertical and pri and secondary vertical. So you want to enter spending per park on the left axis title. So this left axis title is here. So copy spending per park and then paste it. And then for the right access title, you want to use total spending, so copy that. 
and then paste it here. And you also want to delete the horizontal axis title. So select this and just delete it. Right click, delete. Okay, for step 11 in bond offering worksheet, so bond offering is down here. So select E9 to E10 and you want to click on insert up here. Go to column and click on column. For data range, you're using B9 to D10. So select that and then hit OK. And then you want to ungroup the spark lines. So in order to do that, up here, click on ungroup. And for click, so click on cell E9 now and go to spark line up here. Click on axis, find custom value. It should be the last thing. And you want to copy the value that they want. So negative 1500, copy that and paste it here. Click on okay. And then for cell E10, click on cell E10, uh, go to axis and then click custom value. And then copy and paste the value that they want. So negative 60,000 and then paste that and then click on OK. And that is step 11. For step 12, you want to create a clustered column chart. So based on the range A9 to D10, so select A9 to D10 and go up here to insert. Click on recommended charts. And it should be the first thing that pops up, which is a cl clustered column chart and then click OK. And you want to move this so that it's within cell A11 or approximately right here. And the bottom right should be within D28. So D28 is about here. Boom. And that is step 12. For step 13, for step 13A, copy this chart title name and paste it here for the chart title. And you want to add data labels to the chart. So select this chart, make sure you're selecting the entire chart uh, and then click the plus sign. And you want to add data labels. So select or check off data labels. And it's at 13. So that is the entire SAM project. Uh, you can feel free to go back and check your work. But if you have more than three tries, honestly, just submit your work because I'm sure you will get 100.